and let us all that we can to build a better future. On this channel, I talk a lot about unusual whales. No, not White Gladys. White Gladys is White Gladys. We love you. But I'm talking about unusual whales, a Twitter account. It is a dedicated Twitter account that's going to tell you. And yes, if you're a Democratic voter or Republican voter, check them out and you will find out just what your fantastic Democratic or Republican lawmaker does on the side to earn some extra money. You think they care about you? No. A lot of these politicians in D.C., they're doing insider trading. And if you think that they have a seat for you at the table, you are gravely mistaken. I want to give a huge shout out to System Update and Glenn Greenwald, who has done phenomenal work. Shout out to Glenn Greenwald. Uh, be sure to check out his content and so much more. Be sure to check him out. He's doing phenomenal stuff. Unusual, And he gives a shout out to Unusual Whales. And I think it's about time more people do because... <sighs> Unusual Whales was the Twitter account I referenced, especially when it showed out how our politicians were making some big money when the war in Ukraine got started. And hey, guess what? Did you know that all these politicians are really earning that dough? I mean, they made a killing last year, too. The amazing thing about this is that Unusual Whales is a anonymous Twitter account that simply by virtue of extremely hard shoe leather reporting gathering public data, financial records, and then connecting dots and constantly documenting it in a reliable and very straightforward and unbiased manner has brought almost single-handedly a huge amount of public attention to an issue that goes to the heart of integrity in our political system and yet had been almost entirely ignored for so many years as people like Nancy Pelosi exploited this access to her great enrichment. Here is Unusual Whales on January 2nd announcing the following, quote, I have just released the full report on politicians trading in 2023. Like every year since 2020, U.S. politicians beat the market, and many in Congress made unusually timed trades resulting in huge gains. Here are the top performers of 2023. And then you go to this chart here. Now, this right here is the SPY, which is the standard and poor uh, year to date. So this is basically if you just invested your stock in what's called the market, if you just invested your stock in the overall market, you could have expected a gain of 24.8%. That would have been just the random average market profit. And you see here a few politicians who actually did worse than the market, like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Mitch McConnell and Tommy Tuberville. And Now look at that wonderful list. Look at that wonderful list of politicians. Look at them. And they're making in that big money. You know, again, remember, I said this before. I want to pull up this tweet here. This is from Unusual Whales. You know, the, the, if, if you ever did even a fraction of what these politicians did, you do realize that none of you will ever see the light of day, right? You do realize that none of you would ever see your family again if you did, as an average citizen, what Washington, D.C. does. And if you think that these politicians have to pay a hefty fine, no. There's been some reports they only have to pay a hundred bucks. One, one good old Ben Franklin. You want to know why Ben Franklin sm is smiling on the hundred dollar bill? Because he was never president. Okay, that's that's that that's a dad joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just just thought it'd be funny to say. I'll put down your tomatoes. It's funny. So here's Congress once again beating the market. Look at this again. Total value transactions disclosed by Congress. Through cryptocurrency, corporate securities, hedge funds. I mean, they're just living it up, both Democrats and Republicans. Look at them. And they're doing, look at this. Look at this. Look at all of this. Look at how well these politicians are doing. Look, here's the full report. Came out January 2nd. Look at how well they're doing. And it's bipartisanship through the board. And again, you could check out more from Unusual Whales. As a outlet, as an organization, I have to say they are they are a group that I have truly respect for. They have shown themselves to be consistent and showing so much more. And even on their Twitter account, they're calling out the politicians on both sides. Look at just how much they're bringing in that money. Members of Congress made huge gains in their portfolios. Isn't that great? Look at that. So while you're struggling and starving to put food on the table, these politicians are doing their little inside magic. Hey, row, row, row your boat, Rokana. Look at that. 
Look at that. Wow, you're even doing some pretty good stuff with Tesla. Well done. Well done, row, row, row your boat, Rokana. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all these politicians. They got Nancy Pelosi. Row, row, row your boat, Rokana. Mark Green. Look, Republicans and Democrats can work together. You see, voters, your politicians are friends with each other. George Carlin, not the AI one. You got that big musical number in the sky. You told us, and I wish we listened. I truly do. Let's continue on with the rest of the video. Rokana and Michael McCall. I mean, don't cry for them. They're not in the poor house. Anyone who's investing in the stock market already has assets that most Americans don't have. And they had a healthy profit between 10 and 18%. There's just nothing suspicious about it because it's reasonable by market standards. What is notable is how many people are way above the market who are in Congress. Here you see at the top, the Democratic Congressman Brian Higgins, who had a return of 238%. 238%. He more than doubled in one year the amount of money he was investing. Man, boy, oh boy, don't you feel sorry for him? He's got all that money. What can he ever do with it? The Republican Mark Green, 122%. And then here you could just go down the list. You see the red lines are Republicans. The blue lines are Democrats. So it's incredibly bipartisan. You have Senator Ron Wyden and Seth Moulton. Here's Nancy Pelosi, the queen of stock trading. She only, only made a profit of 66.5% on her trades this year, which was. Yeah, see, somebody's probably advising a good old Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. But she can't be flooding her wealth too much. She, she, I, I know she wants to be top of the board because that's Nancy. She's always been on top. Get your mind out of the gutter. Triple the market, but it still was only good for ninth place. Very shameful in the scheme of her career of stock picking, which has been incredibly fortuitous. Congratulations to Nancy Pelosi. Really, I mean, like the Warren Buffett of her generation. And then you see here Senator Susan Collins. By the way, I got to collect Green, Glenn Greenwald. Hey, look, man. Nancy Pelosi is probably a lot older than Warren Buffett, man. I mean, what, what, maybe she's a Warren Buffett of, of, of Congress, but her generation, I mean, a lot of those people are in their 80s and 90s right now, folks. And I'm pretty sure a lot of working class old people in this country who are trying to retire or have to work at Walmart because we have such a sick system here because there's no such thing as retirement are all probably looking at Nancy Pelosi thinking she doesn't speak for us. The Levi Strauss heir to the billionaire fortune, Dan Goldman, he increased his wealth by 52%. And when you're a billionaire heir to the Levi Strauss fortune, the representative of Manhattan, that's a lot of wealth that you've increased. And it is amazing that this one uh, Twitter account, anonymous Twitter account, has done such a remarkable job of doing independent journalism, real independent journalism. True stuff. And again, here is the Twitter account. And I encourage all of you, all of you to please, please check out Unusual Whales. Please follow them. They have done some outstanding, dedicated content. Unusual Whales, all right? Now, they, they, do, they talk about stock options and everything else, you know. So, listen, if you're going to be doing any kind of stock option, do your own research, please. Seriously, be careful out there. All right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to get rough, folks. All right? Uh, and of course, look, here is all their stuff that they've posted, all their stuff that they've done in the past. So please check out their Twitter account. Uh, I check them out. They've done great work. Shout out to Glenn Greenwald for acknowledging them. And why do I talk about this is because, well, our politicians, as they do insider trading, as they live their best lives, we are left holding the bag. Is this who represents us? Is this who writes the law of the land? If you're not angry, I don't know what to tell you. But when 2024 starts to intensify and you see both these politicians say, oh, you got to vote for us. Just remember, when the election is over, they're going to cast you out, slap you around and do more insider trading. You didn't really think that once the election is over, they're going to fight for you, do you?